Hey, welcome back, guys. So far, so good. Okay, we have some products here. Now, the next thing we need to do is add to the cart. So we must begin this process of adding. But before we do that, I want us to, because this is the home page, we want to be able to go to products here, click on products and actually see the products here. But as you can see, we're still on the home page. So we want to be able to see the products from the top here and then we can start adding to the cart. So let's create our new page. Now, if I go to the folder that contains uh, this template, I will open um, this one because I can't see uh, using this. I'm already on the shop, but I can't see. I'm still seeing the home page. So I need to go to the original HTML page. Just open it there and see what is involved here. Okay. So all we need to do is get this thing working. So we'll remove the footer and remove the header and then leave everything in between and just edit this part. Okay, so looks like uh, we are in a business. So what I will do now is, you see, this is, uh, this will be a different page, which will have kind of the same content as page one, which is the home page here. Now, I don't want to be redesigning uh, this, this section right here. So we just use one file. So to show you what I'm talking about is let's go back to the text editor and let's go to views and eShop right there. And what I'm looking for is shop.html right there, shop.html. Now, the thing is, uh, if I click on it, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me open, this is the, the page right here. But let me open the containing folder for a second here. I want to copy it and paste and then make a copy that is .php. Okay, so a different way to do this is just to copy the data from the HTML here, create a new file in this same folder and then paste the data there. Okay, so same thing. So now I have shop.php instead of shop.html. So in the end, we're going to delete all these uh, HTML, remaining HTML files because we won't be needing them. But now I need to put the header and the other stuff. So I will copy what I did on the index page. So let me open my index.php and just copy the header part there. So slider remains that's where we put that there. So shop.php. Let me select everything here. That is all the header. That is still the header. The header ends here. And then there's the advertisement. So we'll leave the advertisement there. Just paste our header. And I will go down here again. Down, 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 down. Where is the footer? So let me make sure the footer starts here. Okay, so I guess this is where the footer starts from and I will paste it there as well. And just remember to change this to footer, like a so, yes. Okay, so now, of course, without a controller, this thing will not work. So let's go and create a new controller. So create a new, file in controllers and let's copy what already exists like in the home page because most of this stuff will be kind of like the home page so i will copy all this and paste it in the untitled and i will change that part to shop because that's our page let me save this as uh, shop.php yeah and let's change a few things here for example the name of this one is shop okay and what else here 
we need all that what else do we need the page itself should change to shop and that's it so we have a new page so now if i do refresh here you will see that uh, i get a different page very nice okay but the advertisement is lost and all the images on the product here are equally lost now the thing is what i could do here is i could um, actually this part here is repeated so let's go in and delete this first one so this one is inside the shop view so i think it's this area here so the footer was actually starting from here i missed that so delete uh -huh. let's come back and refresh good so we have a nice footer here happening and the advertisement uh, image is missing and you probably know why because there is no uh, there is no root on it so let's go to where it says advertisement and the source of the image right there let's just put root actually it's not root it's assets and then we concatenate that to theme because this is how we designed it so if i do now refresh i do get the banner very good now i don't care much about these things here because what i don't want to do as usual as we did in the other side where we wait a minute wait a minute i don't want to delete the sidebar category brand products okay 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 featured features oh my god features items so where is that which is right here features items so yeah should be featured items let me just put a d there okay so from this point onward here we have uh this is the column that's the div that creates uh, the column on the other side so we leave that but this div right here is product image wrapper up to here so wait there's another column here oh so it seems column four is part of the product there okay i see now the thing is uh, if here i I do the same thing I did on the index. Let's go back to the index page here for a second. If you notice where the index page is, we have a loop to loop through and create our products. So where is that? This is it right here. Just that the same thing. Now, the issue is I don't want to do exactly the same thing here because if I have a problem on the home page and I edit how the product behaves here, it means I have to edit also on the other page. But if we create a separate file, we can just include that file when we actually need it. So what do we do? Here, the file will be looking for a row like this one. So we will supply that row there. So all I'm going to do is copy all this one product right there. And I will cut it. Once I cut this, I will go to this is inside views right okay so right here inside views inside eShop I will create a new file and I will paste that content here I can move it back a bit just to make it look neater so I save this and I'm going to say um, product dot inc short for include dot php okay so that way the ones with inc we know that we are simply including those files inside other files so let me save that right there and say bam save and so if i come back to the index now i don't have a product here of course so what i will do is i will include this file now we don't want to do, be doing that include thing 
we want to do exactly what we are doing with the header and use the view. So this view right there. So I'll copy this. Where is view? Ba -da -ba -da -bum. Right there, paste. So this view, but instead of header, we are just going to say product do it inc. Now instead of data, we are going to use row. To save uh, actually to end up as data on the other side, regardless what we save there. But I am putting in a row here for that one. So let's see if uh, things will work as predicted. So let's go back to the home page. And as I suspected, uh, we have a bunch of errors. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a very simple uh, fix on the error. So do not panic. I got your back. So all we need to do is just replace row with data. So select all the possible row and just replace with data. And you should be home and dry. And there we go. So we are back to no more. But extract expects parameter one to be array object given. Hmm. Very interesting, isn't it? So now the reason this is happening here is because uh, in the extract here, so let me come back here for a second. Let's go to our controller. And this is the main controller in core. So controller. Right here we have this function saying extract so that we can use our, uh, our variables without having to call them using data. But this extract is only for, um, for arrays, sorry. So what you could do is you can convert this into an array regardless. You can just say array like uh, this. You do this array. So it will be cast as an array every time, regardless what it is. But this is not what I want because I want this to be versatile a little bit. So what I will do is I'm just going to ask the question, if is array data, the only time we do that is if it's an array. So let me do that and that's it. So that sorts out the problem. So if I now refresh, I don't expect any errors. And sure enough, there are no errors. So this is good. Now, the reason why this is good is because now I don't need to create a new file. When I go to, let's say, right here where I'm saying index dot, I can just copy this, you know, copy that, this whole section here and go to, boom, 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 boom. Wait a minute. This shop controller here, it's returning as rows, 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 rows. Okay, I think uh, this is good enough. So if I go to the, um, let me close this main controller. I don't need it. So if I go to shop view, actually. So right here where we have uh, brands, where is this featured? Yes. Featured. So I'm looking for where the first image, uh, the first one starts from. That's the first uh, product. So we're looking for column small four. So let's get all these column small fours and we will delete them. Okay, they're still there. Up to here, and we have even some nice pagination here, which is cool. So I will delete all that and hit save. Now, if I come back here and go to shop, you will see that we have uh, zero products. So not to fear, I will just paste this here like this. And we are in business because if I refresh now, we get some products. Yes. And now the pagination is over here, which is not cool. So we can easily uh, deal with this by putting a break tag here. 
but instead let's uh, put a style wait maybe that works by itself no need to add extra code if I don't need to but of course it doesn't so I'm going to say style clear both like this and refresh and there we go the pagination is where it belongs all right so so far so good we have some products here and now we see how to click add to cart 